everyone, I'm Andrew and I'm here to talk to you about the 4-H Ag Innovators Experience. This year's challenge focuses on a critical natural resource, soil. What's so important about dirt? Farm families like mine rely on healthy soil for crop production. Did you guys know that one acre of soil contains minerals, organic matter, air, water, and thousands of earthworms, bacteria, fungi, and insects? That's like an entire ecosystem beneath our feet. How are farmers managing this ecosystem to ensure healthy soils? Well, that's a great question, Abigail. And for that, we're going to go to Harold Waters, an agronomist at The Ohio State University College of Food, Agricultural, and Environmental Sciences. The soil is a six inch thick living skin for the earth that we grow plants on, trees, crops, whatever. You could pick up soil hold it between your fingers, break it down a little bit, you can feel the aggregates. The dark color of the soil is going to allow you to realize that there's life in the soil. But soil quality really comes down how much organic matter there is in the soil. Between organic matter measurement, respiration measurement, even some color measurement, we can identify a healthy soil. And by growing a crop, like I said, trees, cover crops, whatever you want to call a crop, we capture that CO2 from the air, take that carbon, put it in the soil with the roots, leave a residue on the surface, and we can hold that carbon there in those forms for a longer period than, than, than what might happen with you know what's in the atmosphere already. So tillage. We have one end, we have you know full tillage, mold bore plow, the other end we have no-till. The no-till doesn't break up aggregates, the no-till doesn't release a lot of carbon, uh, the no-till doesn't break up you know those structures, those homes, maybe put it in those terms for the life that's in the soil. Every time we do the serious tillage on this side of the spectrum, you're breaking down those aggregates, breaking down the little houses that those insects, spiders, mites, algae, fungi, microorganisms, whatever, live in. And by reducing that, you keep them there alive, happy, and they're going to capture carbon, hold it for longer periods of time than what the tillage will do. Abigail, what are you doing? Just looking to see how healthy the soil is that Andrew brought in for our challenge today. Didn't you listen to our agronomy expert? Scientific tests are needed in order to determine whether or not soil samples are healthy. Abigail, you're actually off to a great investigative start. You're all going to be soil sleuths for this 4-H Ag Innovators Challenge. The first part of your challenge is to conduct soil scientific tests, just like soil scientists. And that always begins with a visual inspection of the soil. Okay, Abigail, I guess you were just eager to get started. Before we test the soil provided for this soil challenge, let's see how one scientist uses the slate test to test his soil. One of the best visual diagnostic tools that I know of is the soil stability test. Here are two soils, exactly the same soil type. This soil has been tilled for 30 years. This soil has not been tilled for 40 years. It is covered with diverse plants year round. Watch what happens when we drop the soil in the water. Notice how the conventional till soil is falling apart. The biotic glues in the organic matter are burned up by tillage. The soil pores have collapsed. Notice the no-till soil. The pore spaces are still intact. Do this test for yourself. I guarantee if you dig a little, you'll learn a lot. Now it's your turn to conduct the slate test. Colson, will you take the lead sleuth for this test? For the first part in this test, remove the bottom from a 9 ounce clear plastic cup and pack it with a soil sample. Place on the bottom of a gallon storage bag. Your next step will be to fill the bag halfway with water and then submerge the cup in it. Hold the bag open for at least a minute, then gently lift the cup out of the water. Observe what happens to the soil and record your findings. So now we're going to perform another test focusing on the quality of the soil. Organic matter in soil is widely recognized as a core indicator for soil health. We're going to perform a test that was developed by the OARDC and The Ohio State University. Evan, you're going to be the lead on this test. Okay, let's get started. Place one teaspoon of soil and three teaspoons of water in a quart storage bag. Seal bag and mix up. Put on a pair of disposable gloves. Open the bag and add half a teaspoon of the test solution to the bag. Avoid direct contact with the skin. Seal bag and mix up ingredients. Let sit undisturbed for five minutes. After five minutes, check liquid color against the test chart and record findings. 
So now we're going to change roles from soil scientists to agricultural engineers. The problem for this challenge goes, Hardacre Farm is having trouble with crop yields. Neighbors yields are increasing, but Hardacre's yields are steadily declining. 30 years of continuous tillage is believed to be the cause of the problem and has threatened the soil health. The challenge for you guys is to find a solution to improve soil health by minimizing soil disruption through the opening and closing of soil during the planting process. The materials for this challenge include 14 one and a half inch ball head straight pins, 14 large hole round beads, 14 paper clips, four plastic drinking straws, four bamboo skewers, one hex bug per team member, masking tape, a ruler, scissors, and of course soil. Now for this challenge, we will be using the engineering design process. What are the parameters for this challenge? Your goal for this challenge is to design a no-till planter that is no longer than 12 inches. What is the scale for a no-till planter? One inch is about 64 inches, or 5.3 feet. So the scale replica would be about 30 to 60 feet, much like the planter that we use at our farm today. Do you have a photo that we could reference? Here we go. So the first step in the engineering design process is to ask, so what kind of equipment do you guys use at home to plant? Well one time I used the end of a pencil to plant a tomato seed into the soil. Maybe we can use this straight head pen to do the same thing. That's a great idea Colson. And also another thing to think about is how will geometric shapes and designs affect your no-till planter. The garden spade that I've used to plant flowers with my mom is more rounded, but the hand trowel is more pointed. Yeah, Abigail, we could use this paper clip and bend it into the desired cutting shape. Yeah, good idea. And then we could use these beads to close the soil behind our pressing action. So this has been great brainstorming. So now we're going to go into the planning action. And now I'm going to have you guys draw or sketch out a design that might be flowing through your head. I know what you're talking about. I think I can sketch it out. Now it's time to create a prototype. So as you guys are building your prototype, remember your testing criteria. What is the testing criteria? Your design will be evaluated on total area covered, uniformity of soil disturbance on both sides of the track, as well as the equipment's ability to travel down the track without stopping or bogging down. Can we test our designs now? Absolutely, let's head on over to the testing track. Let's measure our no-till planners so we can see how much area they cover before we start to test them. So what worked well with our prototypes and what didn't work so well with our prototypes? Well, I think ours could use a little bit of work. For one, maybe we could use less tape next time and improve efficiency. I think we can improve our design by making sure all the planters penetrate the soil equally to make sure all the seeds get in. Do you think we could combine our hex bugs to improve power and accelerated performance? We absolutely could, but you have to remember that there's both advantages and disadvantages to increasing power. Well, I'm glad there's more than one solution to this challenge. Join us in taking the 4-H Ag Innovators Experience. Hard Acres is counting on your innovation to improve soil health and crop yields.